What the fuck going on, man? We begging this bitch with another motherfucking video. And today, we finna react to Lil Rodney, man. I don't know if y'all heard of this, man. But apparently, a 12-year-old, I don't know if he a gangster, he in a gang. I don't know. But he 12 years old, and he shot a baby, bro. I don't know what the reason is that you shoot a baby. Probably accidentally. But I don't know. You feel me? I don't, hey, you never know what goes through a 12-year-old head. But, hey. See little Rodney man and uh Yeah Hey we just finna hop right into this video bro no cap Let me just search out the video right quick But yeah if y'all know I post three times a day every day and uh yeah that's all y'all need to know about me bro no cap Let's hop into this vid though bro all weapon, drugs, alcohol used in this video hey, or something, guys? something. We're back at it again with another crazy video for you today. Today, we're going to be going over some of the crazy things I heard of a kid doing and how the 12-year-old is facing some serious time for it. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck. Lil Rodney is an aspiring rapper coming out of Fort Worth, Texas. He was trying to step into the game early. The little man is only 12 years old and is dropping tracks about shooting people and posting pictures with guns. Lil Rodney has also been known to go by nicknames such as Baby Savage and 30 Shot. Hey, it's shit real, man. Hey, that have gained him a small when you grow up into this shit, this Some is what you get, bro. reporting that Lil Rodney is a young affiliate of the Cribs. Though no one can say what set of Cribs or if this is fact or not. So it what happens when you grow up in the, the streets. Way the kid carries himself. He definitely knows how to move like other shooters you see in video. Now, if we go on by popularity and taking a guess based on presence, the Southside Fort Worth Crips are the largest set of Crips in that area. So if Lil Rodney was an affiliate, it's likely he belonged to them. Though, as we said, this has been said by multiple media sources and headlines, including by Hip Hop Lately in the article about him. When he wasn't making music, Rodney seemed to be finding himself in a lot of trouble. In fact, this little kid was a repeat offender, and every time he would get into trouble, he would beg the judge to let him out. Well, that's only been a slide so far, and it seems like it ain't going any further. <laughs> so, no. originally, Rodney had been in trouble and found himself being charged with arson back in 2019. This must have been one of the times he begged to be let out, because he was eventually placed on probation. The probation didn't mean anything to Lil Rodney, though, as he would eventually be caught repeatedly breaking the terms of the probation agreement. Whether it's been the time that he was caught smoking weed on Instagram or the time he posted fuck Judge Kim, thinking the judge wouldn't see it. Man, never in my life would I thought I'd be hearing about a kid who was 11 years old at the time violating his probation by smoking herb on social media. Okay. That's wild, but it gets worse. Wait till you hear what he did to get him put in front of Judge Kim this time. Now, as we said a second ago, Lil Rodney was known to violate his probation, and this time it looks like the judge didn't have time for any of that. He found himself sitting in front of a screen in October of 2020, attending a Zoom hearing where he would find out where he stood with multiple charges. Not only was it there for smoking on Instagram while on probation, but he's also being charged with cutting off his ankle monitor, along with being accused of one of the most heinous crimes that you could do. He's being accused with allegedly shooting a one-year-old child. That's crazy, That's right. Man. I'll say it again. Twelve According years to old. The judge is accusing him of Lil Rodney shot a baby that was only one year old. That's nuts. Now, lucky for Rodney, the child ended up surviving, but this time he was finna be held accountable for his actions, and it looks like all of them. He finna be in trouble for the shooting, as he should be, but also for getting off his ankle monitor and causing problems while he's supposed to be reforming himself. The Zoom hearing ended up going viral due to how the judge handled Rodney and how Rodney handled the situation. So as we pointed out, the main charge in the Lil Rodney case before he went and allegedly shot a baby was an arson charge. And when you hear arson, you immediately think of fire. So what did this kid set on fire to be put on an ankle monitor to begin with? Sadly, there isn't much news or information on that particular case, considering the fact that he was either 10 or 11 years old at the time of said arson charge. This isn't the first time that Rodney or his associates show love for flame. And we ain't talking about hot bars either. No, a video ended up being found by another YouTuber, Maury, who posted a video about the Rodney case. And the footage that he discovered shows either Rodney or one of his friends setting another one of their friends on fire while they were asleep in a car. What? First things first, this dude needs to get new friends. The next thing is, when you watch the video, you'd be surprised how long they let that fire burn. 
They literally let it go until the dude in the car woke up, presumably from the fire, and took off his hoodie. Now, I've seen people mess with their friends when they're passed out, but usually it's either drawing on them or setting up some sort of prank. What the but fuck? to set your friend on fire and then just film it is a borderline psychotic. Yeah, that's Next not time right. Next time I pass out of a friend's house, I'm taking everybody's lighters. No one finna get me like that. What the Before fuck, we get bro? into the hearing and talk about what's happening to Rodney over the next few years, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The fact that this kid allegedly shot a toddler. Like what? Why would anybody have a reason to shoot a child? As of right now, there isn't much information on the incident, other than the fact that it happened, and that luckily for the baby, it survived. Right, did the baby yeah, aim a gun at you, bro? It like, doesn't make sense that Rodney would have been targeting the child. We're good I with mean, you, the man. I know people that don't like kids, but I don't know anyone who would want to cause harm to them. So that leaves us with a few options here. Either one, the gun went off on accident, and for some reason, little Rodney had it pointed in the direction of the child. Or two, he meant to shoot it, but on account of his age, didn't know how to handle it, and the kid got hit, once again by accident. The third scenario, and probably the least likely, because we would have heard about it, would be if he was sliding on a knob and accidentally hit the one-year-old. Though that seems as unlikely as him shooting the child intentionally. Honestly, I'm at a loss here. I can't think of a straight reason why they should have or could have happened at all. It's why, and little Rodney is most likely aware that he's in some deep trouble. You can tell by the tone he takes with the judge during the Zoom meet. You can hear the fear in the kid's voice for sure. That's crazy. Everybody got the courtrooms in the their fucking Zoom, and Zoom place. Everything. But not before pointing out that literally the day before the hearing, Rodney turned 12 years old. The judge wished him a happy birthday and said he was sorry he had to spend it in his detention center. Lil Rodney is virtually standing before Judge Kim Alley, where he was allowed to explain himself and his actions. This isn't the first time that the two would be meeting. In fact, you'll find out that Judge Kim was the one who put him on probation for Austin in the first place. Yeah. Now, as you'll find out, as Rodney began to explain himself, things didn't go his way. And the judge was unjustifiably unsympathetic with him. It's pointed out that Lil Rodney cut his monitor on August 14th, 2020. Real life, Real life kid. Judge Kim points out that along with that violation, a new charge had been filed against Rodney. He was now being accused of shooting a one-year-old. You can tell by the way the judge is talking that he's irritated with the fact that Rodney is sitting in front of him again. He just lays it all out. So he's on probation for arson. He's accused of shooting a baby at 11 years old. That's crazy. And then we bring him back in and he's smoking weed. That's and I crazy. Mean, if I was little Rodney, I'd be worried, and rightfully so. Arson no and shooting a baby, bro. So Judge Kim went ahead and asked Rodney what he thinks his punishment should be. Now that's scary. I feel like you know you're screwed when someone starts asking you things like that. Right. What's crazy is that one of the first things Lil Rodney says is, can you at least give me one more chance? And then he claims if he messes up, they can lock him up for a few months. Okay. Man, I wouldn't for have even few months? to say that to my mom when I was in trouble. Feel months though? You're gonna get years. Tanya but... Davis, the woman in the bottom left-hand corner of the Zoom meeting, must have been thinking the same thing because you can see her laugh right when Rodney asked it. Look at her. She had to look away from the screen to control herself. And I feel that I laugh too, for real. But Judge Kim keeps his cool and doesn't laugh off Rodney's request, even though he's heard it all before. But that's crazy, though, because he literally himself, took a life, bro. Judge Kim immediately and he's 12, so they're going to let him slide. Like, when he was let out last time because he promised not to do any more dirt. He took a whole life. When it comes time for Rodney to explain why he cut his ankle monitor off, he claimed that it was so he could attend a funeral for an associate who had gotten killed. That's, yeah. All I was trying to do was go to my friend's funeral. But he says when he asked, he was told he couldn't go because he didn't know his friend's last name, which makes sense. The judge or whoever probably thought that they weren't actually that close. I mean, I know all of my friend's last name, but Rodney explained that for him and his friends, they only go by nickname. At this point, the little Rodney begins crying, and for a good reason too. Not only can he probably sense how much trouble he's in, but you gotta remember, he's only 12 years old at this point. He's probably genuinely scared about what's finna happen. To him, yeah, but to you... the game, and he's learning really fast that it's not. Bro. But when you go around with guns, you have to be old enough and mature enough to know the consequences and what comes with that sort of thing. All right, you're not supposed to be with a gun. Is the fact that Rodney can be seen with a gun in a post on his social media and points out how not okay that is. There's even one video, especially because you're 12 years old, you shouldn't be flashing no gun for it's why this kid was going crazy and no one was trying to tell him to chill out. Now, as Ronnie continues to cry, the judge points out that this isn't the first time he's come in front of him and not only cried, but lied. And was wondering why he should believe him this time if it's always the same thing over and over again. 
This is when Lil Rodney went to ask his grandfather, who was attending the Zoom meeting as his guardian, to explain why he cut the monitor. But Judge Kim let him know right away that it's not about why he cut the monitor, but also about the fact that he keeps lying to him about trying to be better. Something that the judge said next is really important and shows that even though he sounds unsympathetic, he really wants Lil Rodney to get his act together. He points out that he's always crying when he comes into the court hearing, but he says that he doesn't think they are fake tears. You just cry every single time. I don't think they're fake tears. I think right. they're really crying. But you cry every time. It's because you're a kid. You're 11 years old. He says that he's crying because he's just a kid, but at some point a kid has to learn that doing illegal things and getting into trouble has consequences. As far as his sentencing goes, it looks like Rodney might be being held for up to seven years. Oof. Judge Kim lets Lil Rodney know that he's going to be detained until he can learn how to act right. He said that until Rodney's behavioral level can go up, they'll keep him until he's 19 years old. There's seven years from the time of the Zoom hearing, and honestly, that seems fair. I mean, this kid is constantly getting into trouble and acting like there are no consequences. Right. And whether he believes that or not, because he's young, he's going to have to learn sooner or later. As of right now, he already being accused of shooting someone, and it was a baby nonetheless. That's crazy, and it seems like Judge Kim knows that it's now or never in terms of him learning not to be running around the streets and getting into trouble. He told Rodney, you can only lie to someone so many times before they're not finna believe you. So it looks as of right now, he ain't finna be able to be rapping about sliding on the app, which, let's be honest, might not be the best thing for a 12-year-old to be rapping about. Okay. Lil Rodney might have thought he was invincible, but he's learning quickly that that wasn't the case. There are no words for the actions that he's being accused of. No child should ever have to go through being shot. Be sure to let us know in the comment section. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we can see your life. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free. It's crazy, yeah. Any fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in five seconds. There's Lil Rodney, 12 year old rapper sent to jail, bro. They say they gonna hold him till he 19, but I think he got one more chance though. So I don't know if he gonna fuck it up, but hey, I'm not gonna like I'm a blame him, but I'm not. I'm just I'm just gonna say it straight up, bro. This is a prime example of being born in the streets, like being born, growing up into this shit. This is the only thing you will learn your whole life. We just watched a video that I was talking about. Like, all the grandpa, grandparents, all that shit, all the old heads is from the last generation of gang members. It's like with King Von, bro. He was called the son because his grandfather was like a gangster disciple. I think he was like a gangster disciple leader or some shit like that, which is crazy, bro. But, um, yo, if y'all enjoy, you enjoy. Appreciate y'all for watching. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Hey, yo, I'm gonna see y'all next video, bro. No cat, we out. I post three times a day, every single day. We out on gang.